Welcome back here at 11 o'clock. The Indy 11 today announced it's adding huge money muscle in hopes of getting 11 Park built and potentially moving the team to MLS. Chuck Serak is a Fort Wayne billionaire. He joins us now for our unfiltered conversation tonight. Chuck, good to see you. Thanks for coming on. Absolutely. Glad to be here. I don't need to tell you, Chuck, but this all comes after the news came last week that the mayor was pulling out of this deal. So, so why do you want in tonight? Well, I've been a big supporter of the whole state of Indiana for a long time, and I've had tickets to the Colts. I've come to Pacers games, regularly come to concerts, and uh, frankly, I, I want to support soccer in Indianapolis, and I love what Ursal and his team's doing, and so I'm just excited to be there helping. So as you know, the city already moving on with plans for a different stadium location. So if the city isn't involved, Chuck, uh, can you and Ursal still move ahead with 11 Park? I'd like to believe so, yes, absolutely. How does that happen? Well, he, he already had a commitment from the mayor and from the governor and you know all the political bodies, and uh, the ground's already been cleared. It's ready to go. Where the, where the city's talking about, there's already a hill of port and there's parking lot. I mean, it, it would take quite a bit. They don't even own the land. Not sure who uh, the, the investment people they have involved behind them. So I think they have a, a big hurdle to get over, frankly. Right. So without, without what I'm trying to get at is without the financing from the city, this is going to happen? Again, I'd like to believe it would happen, yes. Okay. But, but we, we need the city support. This, this should not be a fight. This should be let's do what's right for the city and for the state of Indiana. And it, it, was, already a, it was already set up to be a soccer stadium that could support the Indy 11 and eventually maybe support an MLS team. So it's ready to go. Would you like to see this, uh, the 11 become an MLS team? Have you had discussions with MLS? I personally have not had any discussions with MLS. Uh, you know, I think we wanted to get the stadium going first, and, you know, it's a little bit out of my league to handle that part of, of the negotiations. But, yeah, I would love to see a professional soccer team, a, a more professional, a major league soccer team in Indianapolis, and, frankly, for the whole state of Indiana, the same way the Colts and the Pacers are. Have you had discussions with the city of Indianapolis since you've taken on this role? I have not had any discussion with the city at all. Do you, do you, I, I, I welcome any calls from them. I've, I've tried to read out, reach out to the mayor for the last two and a half years on a different subject. I'm trying to save the Hilliport also, and uh, I can't get a return phone call. Hmm. Um, in your discussions with Ursal, uh, obviously, before making this announcement, what are your plans going forward after now having these discussions? Well, I'm going to be an investor like all the other investors that have already been involved. And I'm just, again, excited to, to have a, this kind of thing happening in Indianapolis and for the whole state. Chuck, you're, you're, you're based in Fort Wayne. Obviously, your business is up there. For folks here who aren't familiar with your work and with your history, uh, give us a little background. Sure. Uh, I started a company 45 years ago, very humbly, in a VW bus called Sweetwater Sound, and we grew it to being the largest uh, music product company in the whole world. And today we're approaching $1.7 billion of sales every year. And then additionally, uh, I have a whole bunch of other businesses in town and one up in northern Michigan, and we have a big foundation. And we're just trying to support all the good things in life that we can do and in Fort Wayne, Northeast Indiana, and frankly, the whole state of Indiana. I'm, a, I'm a, a, you know, I, I love this state. It's a great place to be. Would this be your first kind of investment in Indianapolis? And if so, will there be more afterwards? No, I already invested in a building just east of the Hilliport a couple of years ago. Um, and I've had season tickets for a long time for many things. And so uh, I'll continue to be engaged wherever I can, wherever it makes sense. Chuck, I have only about a minute left. So uh, for Indy 11 fans out there who have been scratching their head and really stressed about this over the past week or so, what do you want them to know? I want them to know that we care about them. We want the Indy 11 fans and players to, to really love Indianapolis. And I, I think they're going to continue to see more and better support going forward. OK, and we'll leave it there. And, and Chuck, I, I really hope you come on with us in the future. And we look forward to talking with you again uh, if more details come out about 11 Park or about MLS. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds great. Thanks, Phil.